Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and now we're going to be looking at the Sunshaft image effect. Now, because it was all um, added to Unity 3 with the introduction of Unity 5, you get all the image effects with it. So, what we first need in our scene is a first person control. You can import that from your, with your standard assets, and you'll also need the effects pack, which will be the image effects. You can usually right click that in the project panel. Uh, choose import package, choose characters and effects, if not you'll be able to download it from the asset store through the client of the game engine. Now what we're going to do is once we've imported your first person controller we'll select the first person character and that will be our character in the inspector, you'll see it looks like a normal character. If we go component, image effects, rendering and sun shafts. Now we'll go through the things that all of these do. Now basically the resolution is how high quality your sun shafts will be so we'll have those on high for now because we're working on PC high end. Um, the blend mode which will be blend with the screen or which is the sort of consistent colors that are there or add sort of over the top for a bit more contrast to the scene and it's like the blend modes in Photoshop if you've seen them. Uh, the shafts caster is going to be is choose where the actual point of the sun shafts will be coming from so we'll choose the directional light or whatever sun you've got and then what we'll do is we'll change the shaft's colour, or the sun shaft's colour, to sort of maybe a, a nice yellow. And then we'll leave all the settings as they are, because we'll test it in game now. So if I now press play, and I just run around in my scene, you can see that's where the sun is. You can see the sort of sun shafts coming through where they need to be. So if I leave the camera here, you can see them very subtly there. And I'll just click out of my scene so we can just have a quick preview of the settings. Um, you can rely on the Z buffer and it's sometimes when st things are rendered in front of other objects or textures. I'm not really clued up on it totally but sometimes the Z buffer when things are rendered first so often alpha maps and stuff need to be rendered before other things because you're going to see those and it's sometimes when you get a flickering if a planes or objects are too close to others and it's the Z buffer which is causing the issue so it's really dependent on your scene the resolution obviously if we change the quality you can't really see it there if we go to blend mode we can add and it will sort of add an extra layer of effect to it we can change the threshold color so that will make the color a little bit crazy so what we can do is maybe just tone it down by making it a bit closer to white we can add the distance fall off so if we make the um, actual fall off lower you will get more sort of ray coming through if we change the blur size and increase that we'll get a much larger blur that falls all the way down through our scene the blur iteration just blurs the whole edging and stuff just to make it more less less sharp because a uh, sort of sun shaft is not very sharp and the intensity would obviously increase the actual overall how intense the actual sun shaft is now if we press play you'll notice that yeah we get some sun shafts some of them look a little bit odd you might need to change the direction of uh, where your directional light is facing but it just sort of gives you an effect of where the sun shafts and how you could possibly create them with the image effects that you've got out of the box in Unity. But obviously this is just a really simple way to set it up and it takes you some messing around to do it for scenes that you've got for the future. Now hopefully this sort of helps everybody get a step closer to you know adding those image effects into your game. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.